the army tanks rolled into the capital Harare, signaling political change. Within a week, the aging Robert Mugabe resigned. The transition charted a new political course for Zimbabwe. Now, one of Mugabe's supporters say he did not jump, but was pushed, and he rebuked both the SADC and the AU. Union and SADC need to base their decision not on what the coup makers say, but on what the people of Zimbabwe say and on what the victims of the coup say. The only legitimate way is to have a fact-finding mission. When visiting South Africa last year, Zimbabwe's current president warned against those trying to destabilize his government. At the recently concluded AU summit, Nangagwa told African leaders that Zimbabwe will go to the polls in six months' time. He also indicated that former President Mugabe is in fine health and being taken care of, a statement disputed by Moyo. Everyone now knows there are serious tensions between him and uh, the military cabal. He's doing actually the opposite. They are harassing the president's family on a daily basis. Agua returned to Zimbabwe today. Sophie Mugwen, SABC News. That full interview with Jonathan Moyo, tune into Channel 404 at uh, 9.30 tomorrow.